Welcome to I Know a Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy series. Hey, I'm Justin, the guy. So, we, I got this bike and it has some shifters. They seem to be functioning fine. They're a little bit older model, but they're missing their uh, uh, caps there. So, I was going to see if I had some random caps I could put on there, not random, specifically to this model, um, so they don't look so, you know, ugly. It's not a functional thing. It's basically just aesthetic. So, it's one of those deals where... If you see this, you're gonna, you know, think it's all busted up and that kind of deal. So I'm gonna take this guy off. I've already taken the shifter cables out. Brake cables are still in there. So pull this guy off here. Take the brake cable out. So go to my other side. Get in there. So these are not straightforward covers. It's a little trickier to figure out. So I pulled one out to test. Let's try to replace that. All right, so I got my stuff over here. So I'm gonna whoop, give you a little better angle, better look. Okay, so this is what we're working with here. So this is the old ones. These are the ones that are old shifters. This one's all broken off of the casing so the housing doesn't work. This one's all gunked up. Also, it's dead to life. It's not shifting. And here's one that's, uh, you know, these are 105. This is all Tegra caps. So I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to use it to identify what I need to do to get that cap off. So these are... Very, very, uh, you know, older plastic. So you want to make sure it's, it's something that you don't want to damage per se. And they basically wedge off. So very gently pop that guy off. So, oh, and then to go the other way. So, it has a tab on there that broke off. Then it has this uh, fitting piece. So basically how these go on, um, certain memory didn't turn me right, but it goes on underneath here, then it snaps over it, that kind of thing, over this black piece, which these are missing. So they broke off and they took them off, it looks like. So I'll need to, uh, so this time I need to go over. See if I get that. Whoop. Ah. Pop off, yep. That's good. Then take a small oh this Phillips fit in there. And nope, smaller. You know, when you have a tool that's missing, I have a Phillips version of this old snap-on one, and I can't seem to find it. I think my daughter took it. Or, silly me, used it somewhere, and I put it down, and, uh, not to be found. If I remember correctly, oh, these are right and left, so that's the right one. Go on the right one. So there's a little notch where this fitting goes into, and it lays on top like so. And you put your screw back in place. And this is just the whole thing. So when you find like these, um, you know, newer versions or new ones of these out in the market place, um, they will come with that little piece, but I have not seen them in a while, which doesn't mean they're not out there. Sometimes they pop up on eBay or whatever. This might gunk out. Granted, this is not the prettiest one. A little scuffed on there, but it's better than nothing. That fits in there. Snap 
ramp up in that spot. Ah, and that's why they replace these. <laughs> There, bugger to get on and off. Okay, where? Let me just this a little bit. A little, uh, lip to catch on to. Lastly, what I could do is put a little bit of lube in there to help that get over that edge. Man. Stubborn little burger. That guy. This one's a new go on this guy. So, come off a lot easier. Alright. This one's a lot cleaner. Came off of a different bike. back in place. Bottom lip first. There we go. So see how that fits. Now so right and left is they have a little ramp here that matches and it's all pretty on this side. So if you're looking at um, shifters out there or covers and they only have one available either one or one side or other so so anyway that's how you replace those guys it's a little bit cleaner looking anywho if you like videos like this i'm going to put these in the sauna cleaner and clean them up and get them and you know re-lube them and all that make sure they're functional but they seem to be doing okay um yeah if you like videos like this subscribe to my channel um also, you can find me on Facebook, you uh, like my page there, or you can go to my website, I know I got bicycles.com, um, and put your email address in. Or if you want to look at you know, products that I've just produced or refurbished, you'll find them there as well. So until next time, from the garage, it's Justin.